I'm coming to you today to talk about some hidden gems that I have found on the Evan Moore website. And I found these through the Teacher File Box. Now, I've talked about Teacher File Box before. I hope you're not getting sick of hearing this topic, but this was just too cool not to mention because the Teacher File Box has this feature where you can browse their library by title. And I can't figure out how to do that on their website. You may not be able to do that. Um, when I go to the Evermore website, I can see that I can hover here and it gives me all the different subjects. So I can search by subject, I can search by name, and I can go to digital products and go to ebooks. And I can search again by subject, but I don't see where I can browse by title. So because I can do that here, I get to see all these hidden gems that are in the Evan Moore library that I had no idea even existed. So I thought I would share with you some of those. Most of these are available on the Evan Moore website, but in some cases you can only get to them through file teacher file box. It's really bizarre. But if it's something that you can only get either through Teacher Filebox or find through Teacher Filebox, I'll definitely let you know. And then I'll just link to my full video on Teacher Filebox to explain what that is. I don't want to go into a whole lot of detail on this video, but it's a subscription service where you can access all of their content and print out the various units that you want. And um, again, because I was browsing through all the titles, I was able to find some just really fun things. These are just they're all fun homeschool activities that are hidden gems through Evan Moore. So the first one I wanted to talk about is for the younger ages, like pre-K and K, and you have this All About series. So you've got All About Insects, All About My Body, All About My World, All About Plants, All About the Farm, All About the Ocean, All About the Pond, All About the Rainforest, and All About the Weather. And what's um, interesting is that when I try to do a search on their site, I can't find it. If I do a search for all about, I can't find it. All about the weather, can't find it. But when you go into any of the units, you can see what book it came from. It gives you all the units that are within that book. And if you click on the book, it takes you to the Evan Moore website so you can see the book. So this is only available in ebook. It is $21.99. It's available also obviously through the teacher file box. But here is just a peek inside of what this book has. So Evan Moore is really cool about being able to give you access to the entire book. They suppress answer keys so you can't like, you know, print their sample and, and utilize it with answers, but you can browse through the whole book. It's got 211 pages. It's in full color and it just gives some really, really fun activities for, in this case, some storyboards for different animals and insects. You've got um, a section on creating an atmosphere where you can turn your quote unquote classroom into a delightful nature environment overflowing with information about insects and gives ideas on that. And you can see this is actually at a pretty young reading level. So if they're, if they're reading uh, an early reader, they could read this for themselves. So it's a thematic book based on various topics, in this case, insects. Let me go into a couple of the others. I won't do all of them. Let's go all about the farm. Again, it pops up if you click on it. All about the farm. But isn't this cool? This just would this would have been so much fun. I had no idea it existed. Just a really cool resource for young pre K through K, maybe even first grade students. Just fun. All right. So the next one I found were unit studies. I didn't know that they had unit studies. 
and again they're not organized by unit study here but I ran across them as I was browsing through here so where was the first one I found earth sun and moon right here see how short it is so if I go into one of these units and pull it up it's like six dollars for an entire unit on the solar system gives you all these different activities different topics related to the earth moon and stars or earth sun and moon sorry and this would be a really fun interactive way to learn on this topic and I believe this one came up in a search yeah so this one comes up in a search and again it's only available in an ebook the ones I found were earth sun and moon electricity current and static telling time and I think that's all I just ran across just kinda of going through here quickly there may be more but those were the ones I found as I was going through here folded paper projects this is another one I found that was really cool so if you like origami or just really fun projects regarding paper this actually goes from grades 1 through 6 it's ten ninety nine. so if you have kids that enjoy working with you know making paper airplanes or just like working with paper look at all of these fun projects I just thought this was really cool so these kinds of things work really well if you're doing nature study or animal study or just want some fun art projects and I believe this one came up in a search too sorry yes this one came up in a search and it's 10.99 and it's only available in ebook as well folk art projects so we have folk art projects from around the world and folk art projects for North America this would be a perfect supplement to a history curriculum so if you want to do some hands-on projects for your history if you're studying world history this one has all kinds of things let me pull this up here this one isn't giving me a link so give me a second this one I had to search for oops that won't come up because I don't have spell there we go there it is so here's the North America one and here's the world one around the world grades again one through six so if we take a look at this one again it's only available in ebook I've noticed most of these little hidden gems are only available in ebook just to give you a heads up on that so this one is it gives you a table of contents so we have Egypt Kenya Nigeria and Western Africa um, in the continent of Africa then you've got in the Americas you've got Colombia Ecuador Mexico Peru in Asia you've got Australia China uh, India Indonesia and Japan another Japan and New Zealand and Southeast Asia and then there's a number of things in Europe we've got Belarus England France Germany Ireland Poland Portugal Romania Switzerland and Ukraine 
So if you're doing a continent study or you're doing a world history study, a geography study, these little projects would be ideal for giving some hands-on activities to go with your unit studies or your curriculum. So there's a woven basket from Egypt. There's a clay bead, a clay bead necklace from Kenya. A hammered, hammered metalwork from Nigeria. An Adu mask from Western Africa. So there's all kinds of stuff in here. And then let's take a peek at the North America one. Because again, this would be good for any kind of history study, a United States or a U North America continent study. So now this one, you've got um, the far north, um, northwest coast, totem poles, Eskimo mask, a chi, I can't read it because I'm too far away and I can't see, chill cat blanket it looks like. And then there's some Americana, some Native American, and some Mexican, Central American projects in here. So there's the carving. There's the totem pole. An Eskimo mask. A chill cat blanket. An apple head figure. So there's some fun stuff in here. It looks like some are a little more advanced than others, but there's a lot of variety here. So that was a cool little hidden gem. Here's another one that I had never seen before. Hands-on science projects and hands-on thinking activities. I'd never seen these before. And I used some of these in our co-op couple weeks ago because they're really fun. Let's take a quick look at the science though. Now this one has a print version and an ebook version. And this is for grades one through three. So here's one on sound. You have a lab book and some experiments to do with some questions after doing the experiments. So if you like hands-on science, this is a really great resource for the younger kids. And then the thinking skills one. This is also grades one through three, but they have two of these, I think. Yes, so there's grades one through three, grades three through six. I'll do the three through six one. So Crazy Kites is the one that we did in the co-op. And all the pictures are missing. Why are all the pictures missing? I swear this kind of stuff happens to me when I record. All right, so let's just project this. So the Crazy Kites is um, a really fun um, thinking game and you have to sort these kites in a Venn diagram and figure out who flew what color kite. Sorry, that's sideways. It's easy, that's why I keep going back to the Evermore site, it's easier to show it to you. So you cut out all the kites, and then you have to use the clues to figure out who flew what kite. And anyway, it's really fun. Okay, so the next one I wanted to talk about is, I don't know that it's so much a hidden gem because I think there are people familiar with this particular book, but it was unknown to me and it's really cool. So I wanted to mention it and that is how to teach art to children. Let me see if I can find it here. How to teach art to children. Okay. This is actually a full fledged art curriculum. But literally, this is a full art curriculum. This is what I plan on using next year, actually, because it um, it literally goes through line and form and shape and all the different 
uh, foundational principles of art that that kids need and then it goes into more advanced projects and the projects that they have for the different foundational principles are really really fun it's got a terminology um, list here a glossary and so you can look at the materials list here and see that you know just different kinds of papers very easy to get scissors glue paste tape hole punch paint brushes craft supplies probably things you already have if you have kids and painting supplies tempera paint you can even get tempera paint at Dollar Tree uh, watercolor trays sponges you can get at Dollar Tree as well gadgets for printing toys or trays or plates for mixing new colors so very very doable art supply list so it goes through lesson online lessons I'm sorry more than one lesson several lessons online shape color value texture form and space and then after you get through the lessons related to these concepts then you get to some more advanced projects and these these projects are really cool I'm very excited because I feel like art has been all over the place and we do these random projects some of them are just too advanced some of them are you know just kind of complex and require supply lists that you know end up costing quite a bit of money and this is a breath of fresh air so let me go to where it goes into the next level of projects space Okay, part two. This is where you go into the more advanced projects. And it's got quite a few here. So you could pick and choose what you wanted to do because in this case they're not going in any particular order. As you can see, it's pretty cool. So I don't want to spend too much time on this. I know this is getting long, so I apologize. I just found so many things it's really hard to <laughs> narrow it down um, but this one is easily found through Evan Moore there it is how to teach art to children and it's got um, there's an ebook and a print book available <clears throat> for this one there's another one on a how to teach subject called how to teach sorry how to make puppets with children this is for grades one to six and this again is just a really fun book that has projects related to making paper bag puppets and there isn't a link to this one But you can find it by just searching for puppets. It's also only available in ebook. It's 84 pages. But aren't these cute? Look at how cute these are. If you have a child that loves to make puppets or play with puppets, this would be so much fun. This would be great for a co op, too. And then the one that I forgot to mention is back in the A's. I'm trying to go in alphabetical order, but I did forget this one. And it came up when we did the search here. We, when I did the search here, the alphabet puppets. Alphabet puppets. So if you have a preschooler and you're teaching the ABCs, you're teaching the alphabet, this would be a blast to do. We used all about reading when we were learning the alphabet and the alphabet sounds and literally the preschool level of all about reading is a letter a week and it's a printable and they just do really fun projects with each one you're either painting or gluing stuff on or doing all kinds of things he was and my son was really into it loved it and it was a great way to teach the alphabet and the letter sounds but Trust me, this would be a lot cheaper. 
So you could do the same thing, except do it with puppets. And then literally when you go over the letter sounds, you could pull out the puppet. It teaches the alphabet song. Andy the ant. And then you can cut him out and make him a puppet. And then it's got some other fun games and activities to go with each letter sound. Just so much fun. So, so, so fun. Didn't know this existed. Look at that Digger the dog. This is so cute. I can't use it because mine is too old. But maybe you can. Or maybe you know someone who might be interested in this. Very, very cute. Okay, so the next one I want to talk about is look, listen, and speak. Where is it? Look, listen, and speak. It's a series. So there's at school, at the supermarket, my community, my family, and me. So it looks like through the Evan Moore website, the only options for these particular units are through an interactive game. So these are for the younger ages. And if you go in, or if you get these at $3.99, then they start learning vocabulary words related to the subject. So this is keeping healthy. So it talks about all the different vocabulary that's related to that. There's interactive scenes and stories, chants and songs, and enrichment games. But you get print versions of these through the teacher fall box. So depending upon what you prefer, what teaching method you prefer, you can get the print option through the teacher file box or the digital version through Evan Moore's website. But I didn't know those existed. That was pretty, pretty cool. Okay, so the next thing I found that I thought was really neat, I didn't know existed, was a book on paper crafts and then another one called Paper Tube Zoo. Um, the paper crafts... It's ten ninety nine. It's only available in ebook, I do believe. Let's see. Yep, ebook only. Ten ninety nine. And again, if you like to teach more crafty art projects, some people don't really want to do a whole art program, but would rather do crafty art, a paper mosaic, these, I love these, paper weaving, oh my gosh, I remember doing that when I was in school, that was a long time ago, paper lace, silhouettes, paper chain, so there's a lot of great crafts in there, and it's really inexpensive too. And then the other one was the paper zoo. The paper tube zoo. These are really fun. Literally where you're just using toilet paper tubes and paper towel tubes to make projects. Okay, let's pull it up here. It'll be easier. This is only available in ebook. So this book would be perfect for animal study because each project gives you a reproducible form that you can use as a little research project on the animal that they create with the paper tubes. So this one will be on bats. This one will be on the monkey. These are so cute. Oh, there's the bat. So that was just like an introduction on how to use the book. So you've got monkey, then the bat, beaver, bear, pig. These are really cute. But what a fun way to introduce a research project or some easy writing assignments on topics that kids would love to write about. So cute. 
this was really cool. I'm going to use this this next year as well. If not this next year, the year after. But they have thematic units. There's theme pockets, which if you've heard of the history pockets, it seems like everybody knows about those through Evan Moore. But they also have theme pockets. So relating to dinosaurs, the different months of the year. Um, there's one on my state. Now this one I cannot find on the Evan Moore website. It appears to only, unless there's a, a way to search for it that I can't figure out. I've tried various things. I can't, I can't find it. So I won't talk about this too much, but this is literally how you can learn about your state. If you're wanting to not necessarily follow the public school requirements, but if you, the public schools do require that students take one year of state history, which I don't plan on dedicating a whole year to state history, but I would like to have my son learn about the state that he lives in, and this is all research-based. So if you're interested in something like that, it has all of these different topics related to the state that, that, that you live in, but they have to research it. So for instance, the first inhabitants was our state named after an Indian tribe or some aspect of Indian history or culture. As European settlers arrived in our state, what happened to the Indian population and why? And so it has all of these has the form that they can use, the questions that they can research, and then a project that they can do related to that as well. The first pioneers. So they can research the first pioneers to the state. How did they come? Who were they? They give you some books to use for reference so you can either read the whole thing or just take ex excerpts from it and give them an overall picture of what it was like to be a pioneer and then a little page where you can record or the student can record different things about the state the flag here's the page on the monuments anyway I thought this was really cool now the rest of the theme pockets I did find on the site. So you can see the different states. It's one on Africa, the Amazon rainforest, artists. Cinco de Mayo, different holidays. weather. Yeah, the state one isn't in here. So I guess that's only available through the teacher fall box. Another one I didn't know they had was called Poetry Patterns. So if you do a morning basket and you want to study poetry or if you want to incorporate poetry into poetry, ugh, I can't say the word for some reason, poetry study in your language arts, this one is a really excellent resource. There's an ebook and a print version of this one. Couplets, giving poetry, change poetry, animal prayer poetry, onomatopoeia, Thanksgiving. I like the, how they do that with the acronym. So, yeah. All right. So that is it. This video got pretty long. I could have gone on. But the ones that really stood out to me are the ones that I mentioned here. There's obviously a ton more. If you want to see this up close, if you go to the... I'm going to log out here. If you go to Teacher Fallbox 
you can actually browse by title without any kind of um, subscription. And then if you go in to any of the books, you can still click on that cover and it'll take you to the Evan Moore site. So you could look at books more thoroughly if you wanted to do that. And then if you actually want to take advantage of the Teacher File Box subscription, you get a 14-day free trial. So if you go and to subscribe or try it for free, it's $99 a year, but you can do the trial. You just plug in your information here and request a trial. It's 14 days. You don't put a credit card in, so you're not going to get charged if you don't cancel or anything like that. And then you can actually print up to 50 pages from any of the units that you decide you wanted to to print. And then if you decide you want it, you can just go ahead and subscribe. So I will have that linked below as well. It will be an affiliate link, so even if you're just doing the trial, I would love it if you would consider using my affiliate link because it does help out, you know, my channel. But if not, it's, you know, no hard feelings. Thank you so much. If you've made it this far, I appreciate you coming to my channel today. If you like this kind of content, please do subscribe and like this video because that also helps my channel. And I have a lot more content coming up. Now that it's summer, this is when I record the most content. So again, thank you so much for coming. Have a great rest of your day and we'll talk more soon.